Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be looking at the Harbor Freight Christmas Sale for 2020. This is your last chance to get great deals and save money at Harbor Freight before Christmas. So if you've been putting off all your Christmas shopping all this time, this weekend is the best time to get to Harbor Freight and save money on the great gifts and stocking stuffers you've been looking for. In this video, I will be going over the latest coupons released by Harbor Freight as their Christmas sale for 2020. I will also cover their latest hot buys coupons good through December 31st. And I will also give you a 30% off coupon which has no exclusions. As always, all these coupons are available at my website under the Extras tab in high resolution image so you can get all the codes and details you need to use these coupons without having to stop this video. Just head over to my website for all the details. And if you think these coupons are not enough for you and you want more, then after watching this video, head over to my website and there you will find even more coupons under the Harbor Freight December 2020 coupons page which is also good through December 31st. My website has tons of Harbor Freight coupons so you can save money year round. So if you enjoy saving money, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another video. So let's jump right in and see what Harbor Freight has made available for us this time. Okay, so starting right off here, we're looking at the Portland Electric uh, Pressure Washer, 1750 PSI. $79.99, that's not a bad price. That is the lowest that I ever see them put it at. So that's a pretty good price right there. Uh, these lights, $21.99, good price also. That's the lowest they go at. These uh, foldable sawhorses, $8.99. Decent sawhorses, good price, $8.99. That's pretty darn cheap. But always keep in mind, if you're looking at these, they are very light-duty sawhorses. You have to take care of them. They cannot be used and abused like the metal sawhorses. So use them, get them if you want to, but be careful with them. This saw right here, $59.99, that is the cheapest they put it at. I have this saw. I've had it for a couple years. I've reviewed this saw. If you want to check out that video, go ahead and the link will probably pop up in the corner. You can go check out that video if you're considering buying that saw. This TV mount right here, $14.99, that is a pretty darn good price compared to other manufacturers. For Harbor Freight, it's a good price, but you compare it to other manufacturers, they're going to charge you a ton more for one of these stands just to hold up your TV. So if you want to save money, $15, that's a pretty good price right there. These guys, these uh, impact sockets, $19.99, that's the cheapest that I ever see them at. The, well, actually, for the most part. I only saw them go down really, really cheaper than this one time, and I grabbed that when I saw it. The cheapest I saw it go only one time was $17.99, but the normal lowest price I see it is $19.99, so that's a good price if you're looking for that. These seats right here, $19.99, you know, that's a good price, but I don't like these seats. They're too prone to tipping over. They're rather unstable. There's a better one further down that I'll show you in a minute, so hang on for that. This grill right here, also, I don't like this. It's NICAD battery, $16.99. Uh, there's a better one further down, so don't really get too uh, interested in this one. Uh, it's cheap, but it's cheap quality as well. NICAD batteries, they're terrible. I really hate NICAD batteries. I have some old NICAD drills that are just hanging around in the drawer, and I never use them because I dislike the uh, power capacity of NICAD batteries so much. I've moved on to lithium-ion for everything. These batteries right here, $6.99, that's not bad, 18-pack. These Edge batteries, they're about the same, I would say, as a Rayovac battery. I would not be surprised if they're probably made by Rayovac for Harbor Freight. So, uh, you know, they're decent quality. If you think uh, Rayovac is a good enough battery, then these are comparable. There you go, a metal ammo can, $11.99, that's not too bad. This uh, work platform here, $19.99, that's the cheapest that I ever see it at. In fact, I got one of those, one of these uh, many years back, and that's what I paid, $19.99. I've never see it, seen it gone uh, uh, any lower than that. So, you know, that's if you're looking for one of those, that's a good price to get it right there. These cards at $159, that's pretty decent. All the colors that you want, $159, not bad. These wrenches, again, $19.99. I have a set of these. been using them for a long time. Very good wrenches. Uh, you know, cases right here, $119 if you have a need for that. The Earthquake, $129. That's not bad. I can't remember if I've seen it as low as $119. It gets a little hard keeping all these prices straight in my mind. 
but uh, 129 doesn't seem like a very bad price. Let's see if you need some, uh, you know, wire wheels and stuff like that. 299 for a combo set. That's not too bad. Here we have. This is what I was telling you earlier. This one I prefer more than the other seat. It's more stable. A little less chance of tipping over. More of a square design instead of the rounded one. So a bit more stable. And here you have the 30% off coupon that I promised you. Three days only. Uh, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Go ahead and use that. Regular customers can save up to 30% on items $10 or less. Inside Track Club members. If you're an Inside Track Club member, you can save 30% on items up to $20. So that's pretty good right there. And if you're not an Inside Track Club member and you want more details on Inside Track Club coupons or something like that, again, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do put out an Inside Track Club video every month. And most of the time, I will be including the coupon codes if I'm able to do so. Some months, something comes up and I cannot do it. But most of the time, I'll give you the coupon code so you can save money along with me. Let's move on down to their hot buys. These are buys that you really do not need coupons for. It says right there, no coupon needed. You can just go in and the prices should be adjusted to what you see. If not, um, you know, carry this page around in your uh, phone with you. Uh, just call up my website on your phone and you can call up this page. And if for some reason you get to the register and it does not adjust, like in this case, from 209 down to 179, if it doesn't make the modification at the register, just tell the cashier, hey, wait a minute, I saw it for a cheaper price. Pull up this page, let them know, and the cashier should make the adjustment for you. And some of this stuff is pretty good. Like, these guys right here, they're okay. $9.99 is okay if you need these drills right now and you want to get them. The lowest I've seen this set is $8.99. So if $1 is not a big deal for you, then go ahead and get them. They're pretty good. I've been using it for a long time. These are the Warrior extension socket bits, uh, $199, that's a pretty good price. The lowest I've ever seen them, and again, that was only one time. I saw it for $0.99 cents and I grabbed it. But $199 is about the normal lowest that I see it for most of the time. So if you're looking for one of these, I would say $199 is a good price. Go ahead and grab them. These guys right here, the electric drain cleaner, $199 is a good price. I have one of these. I've had it for like 10, 12 years, something like that. Very good setup. Uh, I've used it all the time. Uh, my house, the way the kitchen drain is set up, it doesn't slope out properly. So probably like once a year or something like that, I have to clean out the kitchen drain. It's just a weird design when this house was built. Anyway, I got tired of renting it from Home Depot, paying like, I don't know if it was 50 or 75 bucks every time I had to rent it. So I said, the heck with it. I'll just buy one myself. And that's what I did. I bought one of these. And ever since then, I've been saving money because it only took a, what, two and a half years or something like that for it to pay itself back. So now it's free every time I need to clean out the drain. So there you go. If you need one of these, keep an eye on it. Uh, go ahead and get it. That's the lowest that they go for. Uh, these guys right here, the uh, paint sprayer system, uh, you know, Avanti, that's, you know, the Harbor Freight brand. I don't know how good these are. I haven't used them. Uh, there is a name brand out there. I forget what it's called, Weber or whatever. I forget what it's called. But uh, anyway, um, you may want to compare the price and see if uh, they've gone up in price. They used to be around 50 something dollars. So if they've gone up as well, because I have, I have one in the garage. I haven't used it in years. Um, I would have to go all the way down to my garage to pull it out to take a look and see what the name brand is. But it's been so long, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, so uh, compare it with the ones at Home Depot and see if this is a better deal or not before you make a decision which one to buy. And here you have some icon tools, and you have a whole lot of icon tools to pick from. If you like the icon brand and you're interested in it, then these are good prices right here. You get a discounted price, and you can take advantage of them, and you can get them for your uh, collection. Uh, personally, I think you can probably get better prices with the Pittsburgh Pro line, but that's totally up to you guys. If you like icon, it's the same as the guys that like uh, Snap-on and stuff like that. Some people, you could just not get them to change their minds on something. If you like it, go ahead and get it. It's totally up to you. You're the one that's going to get it. You're the one that's going to be paying for it. You're the one that's going to enjoy it. So get whatever makes you happy. Anyway, let's move on down here. And let's see, this light is not bad. 79 bucks, that's not bad. It's an LED light. And that's what I tell people. If you're going to get one of these lights, 
Make sure to get an LED light. Don't get the halogen lights. The halogen lights are way too hot these days and they're almost about the same price. So why pay for a halogen light that is going to really heat up your work area and it's going to be super annoying to have it and you know anywhere near you when you're uh, trying to do something. Get yourself an LED light. They're super bright, much cooler, much lighter because the assembly itself is also smaller, easier, more compact, easier to put away and carry around with you. So always look for the LED lights nowadays. Forget about the halogen. That is very antiquated technology. Just don't bother. These hand cars here, $39.99, not a bad little price. I have like three or four of these because I don't know, for some reason, people, they don't want these. They get tired of them. They throw them away. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just a chunk of metal. It's just tubing welded together, so there's nothing that can go wrong with these. Aside from the tires, these are the solid tires on this one. They have some that have the inflatable tires. And if the tires do go bad, you can get a new tire at Harbor Freight for only three or four bucks. So don't throw away an entire cart because your tire goes bad. Replace it with a new tire from Harbor Freight and keep it going. 40 bucks for a new cart versus four bucks for a new tire kind of makes no sense. Here you have the uh, rolling miter saw stand, 149, the Hercules brand. That's not too bad. These saws are fairly well built. Uh, if you need something cheaper, they do have a Pittsburgh brand. Uh, you can always get that instead. But if you want a nice one, the Hercules are pretty nice. Here you have for 10 bucks if you want to get an air compressor starter kit. If you don't have anything and you're just looking to something to get you started, 10 bucks, that's a pretty decent way to go. And here you have one of these uh, float chargers. You know, these are good this time of year. And again, five bucks, that's a good stocking stuffer right there for someone that, you know, is in the cars and all that stuff. But these are pretty decent this time of the year in the winter when batteries get weaker and so forth. And if you have multiple cars like I do and you don't drive them all all the time, you don't want your battery to drain down with this cold weather. Sometimes some of my cars I may not drive for weeks on end because it's raining or whatever and I don't want to drive them in the rain. There's some of my cars I don't drive in the rain. So uh, these are pretty good to have on hand. Just hook it up, keep your battery topped off, and that way when you come back, your battery is still healthy instead of having it die off too early and having to go buy a brand new battery. Here you go, the compact polisher sander kit, 89 bucks. I mean, that's that's a good price, but it you know it's totally up to you if you want to spend 89 bucks to have one of these 12-volt uh, kits. Uh, you can get an electric corded one a lot cheaper than that. And there are also other brands as well. This is the Earthquake. Uh, you know, you can always get a Ryobi or something like that a lot cheaper than this. So, you know, do your comparison shopping and see which one you're really more interested in before you commit to a certain one. And this right here, this uh, Banks 18-gauge Brad Nailer for $34.99. You know what, to be honest, this is just something that Harbor Freight has come up with with a new brand called Banks. But if you use their central pneumatic one, if you look at it and you put them side by side, they are identical. Uh, I have the central pneumatic one and I have a video review that I've done on that. I've had it for a few years. Very good gun, never giving me any trouble. And I have the two-in-one. This one, I... Can't, does not say it, so I can't tell if it's the 2 and one but it is the same body assembly, whether it's the 2 and one or the single Brad Nailer. They're both the same. It's just the cartridge at the bottom here that changes. Anyway, I have the 2 and one and I got that for like 20 bucks, really, really cheap. So if you want to save yourself some money, look at the central pneumatic one instead of the banks. Again, but some people are brand name people. If you really want to have that brand name on there, go for it. Otherwise, I'd go with the cheaper one. Same thing. And here's what I was telling you earlier. Instead of the uh, NICAD battery, get yourself a lithium-ion one. 18-volt lithium uh, cordless drill right here, $24.99. It's a very basic drill, just your basic drill function. Um, I don't even know if it's a driver. It, it doesn't say, it just says drill. So I don't know if this is a drill driver, hammer drill, just a plain old drill, probably just a basic drill. But for $25, bucks, it's a lot better to go with the lithium one instead of the uh, NICAD. I really do not like NICADs. They have a terrible drain uh, problem where uh, you can charge it up today and in a couple of days the battery will be drained out. I've had these lithium ones where you charge it up today, two months later it is still charged up. So lithium is definitely the way to go. 
And here you have the flag, $7.99. Nothing says Christmas like putting a flag outside your house, right? <laughs> there you go. Let Santa know you're a patriot. All right, over here we have a pocket flashlight, $4.99. That's not too bad. These flashlights aren't too bad either, $4.99. You know, it's like the folding light that they have, which also, if you want to get the folding light, I have done a review on that. You can go check out my video. But if you want to check out... If you're looking for the folding light that they sell, the 300 lumens folding light, uh, they do have that on coupon until the end of the month, and it is $22, something like that. You can get it, the coupon for that, on my page, on the uh, December 2020 coupons page on my website. You can get that coupon if you want to get the other light instead. So like I said, head over to my website, check out the December 2020 page because this is a supplement to that one. So these two pages go hand in hand. These are in addition to the ones that Harbor Freight already put out. So 99 cents for these picks right here, that's a good deal. I mean, you never know what you need a pick for. 99 cents, you can't go wrong. And if you're looking for a workbench, 119, this isn't too bad. You know, I've looked at these when I've uh, gone into Harbor Freight into the store. They have these uh, sitting on the floor so you can look at it and they're not too badly built. If you need a workbench and you're not kind of too handy and you can't make one yourself and you don't want to take the trouble to put it together, these really aren't too bad. Uh, pay the 119 get yourself one, just assemble it. It comes disassembled, of course, but everything is pre-cut. So all you do is put it together, follow the instructions, and you're good to go. And here we have the Chicago Electric uh, Variable Speed Oscillating Multi-Tool, $24.99. Now, on the other page that like I said, the uh, first page that Harbor Freight put out for 2020 in December, they had a Bauer brand, which was like $58. Same exact tool. The Bauer brand, $58. That's why in that video, when I made that, I said, you know what? Get yourself the Chicago Electric, as you can see right here. What is the difference between paying $58 for the Bauer brand or $25 for the Chicago Electric? I have an old Chicago Electric. These are newer. I have a very old one that I've had it for over 10 years and it's still working just fine. Save yourself the money. There's no need to pay for the Bauer one. Get yourself this one and you'll be very, very happy and you'll have money in your pocket to buy something else. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? You save money, you can buy yourself something more instead of just being all gobbled up by one item. These guys right here, half inch uh, a breaker bar, 25 inch, not bad, very good. I have one of these, I have the older design that it doesn't have the uh, textured or soft uh, handle down here. It's all metal all the way up and down. And uh, I mean, those guys are strong. I mean, it takes a lot to break those guys. So I have the other design, but I, I would say they're, you know, they're both very good. And here you have, like I was talking about earlier, if you need a cheaper um, uh, Midasol stand, here you go with the Chicago Electric, 99 bucks. The Hercules is nicer than this one, but if you can't afford it for whatever reason or you want one that is, uh, you know, cheaper, uh, you're going to knock it around, beat it up, whatever the case may be, 99 bucks is cheaper. Doesn't have all the features, but does the same job, basically. So there you go. And these, Husk, uh, these knives right here, they're very similar to the Huskies. They're, they're the Gordon ones, very similar. $3.99, not a bad price. I have the Husky one, very good knife. I use it all the time. And here you go, the 4-in-1 screwdriver, $0.99. Cents. Very good. You know, it has two Phillips. There you go, two attachments. Two Phillips and two uh, straight edges. Very convenient, very easy to use. I use it all the time. I have one in every vehicle because you never know when you're going to need it. And instead of having four screwdrivers, just have one. And here you have some masks for $1.99 if you really need some of these. Um, I think there are places you could get them cheaper. I mean, nowadays, these things are like all over the place. And they have a new one, the black ones, which uh, I really don't know why you would. I mean, okay, if you want to look cool, sure. Yeah, you get a black one, you look cool. But uh, this one, you can tell when it's getting dirty. If you're in a very dirty, dusty environment, you want to see when the mask is getting dirty and you can clean it up, get rid of it, you know, get yourself a new one, replace it. The black one, you probably can't tell when it's dirty and you're probably just breathing in all those contaminants anyway. Uh, the cool factor doesn't really, you know, outweigh the benefit of being able to see when it's time to replace it. And here you go with the Avanti Airless uh, paint spray here, 239. That's a new item. 
again, I can't tell you much about this one. Haven't seen it around, haven't uh, heard much about it. And, you know, talking about new items, we have a couple of new items here and a new item down here. Uh, in a couple of weeks, like I said, hit that subscribe button. In a couple of weeks, something like that, I'm going to be putting out a new video talking about all the new items at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has a ton of new items that they are either already in the store or coming out to the store. And I'm going to be covering them all in another video. So keep an eye out for that and we can talk about all the new items that are coming out. Some are good, some are not so good, some are expensive, some are really good prices. Keep an eye out for that. All right, so here we go. Uh, the Bauer 2000 PSI electric pressure washer, 199. You know what? I Every time I see this, I say 199 is too much. 219 is ridiculous, 199 is too much. Uh, they really need to knock it down cheaper. Uh, I, if you really want one, I would say, scroll up to the top of the video. The first item that I talked about, the green machine, 79.99. That is just as good and does the same job for a whole lot cheaper. And you can take the extra money and buy yourself something else, like a compressor, like this one, 119, there you go. 119 for the 79 for the other one, and you got two items instead of just one. So that's my way of doing it, but you know. And talking about the uh, Midas off stand, here you go, even cheaper. If you want an even cheaper one, the Warrior, 49 bucks. So you got three choices right there, like Goldilocks, good, better, best. There you go. If it's not, you know, big enough, if it's not tall enough, if it's not rolling enough, if it doesn't do whatever the heck you need it to do, pick from medium, uh, small, medium, and large, whatever you need it to do. There you go. Three choices at Harbor Freight. And here you have the Badlands winch. These are pretty good. And here we are, guys, at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Questions, comments, put them down below. Hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.